Proceed, Salinas, to procure my fall, and by the doom of death and woes and all. Merchants of Syracuse, plead no more. Are not partial to infringe our laws, the enmity and discord which of late sprung from the rancorous outrage of your duke to merchants, our well-dealing countrymen, who wanting gilders to redeem their lives, have sealed his rigorous statutes with their blood, excludes all pity from our threatening looks. For since the mortal and intestine jars twixt thy seditious countrymen and us, it hath in solemn synods been decreed, both by the Syracusans and ourselves, to admit no traffic to our adverse towns. The sailors sought for safety by our boat, and left the ship, then sinking right to us. My wife, more careful for the latter born, had fastened him unto a small spare mast, such as seafaring men provide for storms. To him one of the other twins was bound, whilst I had been like heedful of the other. The children thus disposed, my wife and I, fixing our eyes on whom our care was fixed, fastened ourselves at either end of the mast, and floating straight, obedient to the stream, was carried towards Corinth, as we thought. At length the sun, gazing upon the earth, dispersed those vapours that offended us. But here must end the story of my life, and happy were I in my timely death, could all my travels foreign to me they live. You know, sometimes it's useful to do an exercise to get used to the blindness. So if you just hold my hand. Right. I can't okay. see it. And I thought I could go back to speak to the screen. Is the screen there? Yes, yes. that's the screen. Yeah. Okay. Martin's just, and we will just, the other girl could just come when she comes. Gordon, yeah. Why my participation is important for this project? I was born in Cairo in 1963. Uh, she was born in Toro, a quite big city in North Poland. And me and my family like moved over to Australia when I was like 15. <coughs> with like, my mum and dad and my little sister. Um, my name's Pratam Kapoor. I'm 28 and I was born in Singapore. Um, my mother died in 97 and my father died three years ago. Um, I was married, it was a, an arranged marriage by my father and my aunt, aunties, and um, not a very good move, then we divorced, and I'm gay, so it didn't really work. <laughs> <laughs> what are the main things for me that I've achieved from my experience and residency here from Glasgow? freedom to express myself and to be who I really am. Years of having to suppress my sexuality began to become very challenging. Singapore is not the ideal place to grow up as a gay man and to sustain a steady relationship. This has been such a new experience for me. The people in the group are so different from me that sometimes I feel like I shouldn't be here. <laughs> but I just be myself. That's all I can do. I'm really sad that Gordon left because I felt like he was the only one who was maybe a little bit like me and it really reminds me of an Irish friend that I had back in Sydney. I pray you, Jess, sir, as you sit at dinner. I, from my mistress, come to you in post. If I return, I shall be post indeed, for she will scour your fault upon my pate. Methinks you're more like mine should be your clock and strike you home without a messenger. Come, Romeo, come. These jests are out of season. Reserve them till a merrier hour than this. Where is the gold that I gave to thee? To me, sir? Why, you gave no gold to me. I mean, what did they had on their mind when they were selecting people for this project? It's so different from the ensemble work I did back home. It brings so many questions. 
Why did you leave? Why would you leave a country with such a rich theatrical history? Was it worth it? What do you think you're going to do? Who do you think you are? I don't understand what you're saying. You left because you're a coward. Opportunist? Worried that people back home would find out that you're a lesbian. You're not even looking like one. So scared that you might lose a few teeth? Oh, get your pretty little nose broken? Chip! Del Santo, a technically perfect painter, but with a disappointing career. You don't know how the others strive to paint a little thing like that you smeared, carelessly passing with your robes afloat. But to do much less. So much less. You're not one of the true painters, great and old. Brother Angelico's the man you'll find. Brother Lorenzo stands his single ear. Fag on at flesh, you'll never make the third. Flower or the pine, you keep your mistress manners, and I'll stick to mine. Andre Del Sarto and Fra Lippo Lippi. Remind me of my daily struggles as a writer and a human being. The purpose of art, the tensions between its social, cultural, political, economic, and spiritual value, the conflict of personal morality with religious practice, and the impossibility of equality between artists and her lover. We not retain much hope. Now, here the sound of the sea intensifies and starts to build up towards a storm. I think that, you know, yes, it could all look fine, mm -hmm. but is it saying anything? Is your tarty master not a hand? Nay, he is a two hand with me, and that my two ears can witness. Say, didst thou speak with him, nor so his mind? Aye, aye, he told me his mind, but through his hand. I can understand it. The only regret I have from it um, is that I had to leave the project early. I had to go home to Belfast. Um, my mother took a wee turn. There's nobody else. So, the last thing I want to do is to tip my hat to the vast array and variety of talent displayed by Monica, Pratam, Lucy and Fatima. Okay, uh, from Anna's workshop, um, I think I find it interesting uh, the aspects in which it was I was surprised at how able I was to communicate using movement because that's not a medium that I use very often. I'm also not a person that's particularly susceptible to reading body language and things like that. So. Hello Big Brother. Um, it's been ages, I think, since we last met up. Martin's just told us it was July-ish um, as a full group, but I think the fact that since then, um, due to certain holidays and other commitments, lots of um, different sort of small meetings have happened. I think it was quite tough going to Singapore and, and I suppose my own personal reflection is you do have to let go. So the last video uh, diary entry was filmed a month ago. Uh, I wasn't there, David wasn't there and unfortunately Gavin cannot be with us today as he's rehearsing in the Flockery. And um, I would like to do my video entry right now. So Martin, please. What do you think about when you're creating something, like you're writing a script or you have a new idea, you're always referring to things that have been done before. You're thinking about, you just, you can say that anything you want to do has been done before. And with this kind of work, it's different because we have not lived before and um, we are the key ingredients for this to happen. We cannot pre-entry what we're going to achieve. We cannot say, oh, this is, this is how we want it to look. We have different experiences. We have different practices as artists. So 
we are this kind of mixture who in this particular time makes it happen. Maybe, you know, in another time uh, it will be totally different. We would have different experiences and all that. So that's been very, very interesting and um, we'll see how it develops. Right now what we want to do is to open it to questions. So is what kind of light did we give the afternoon audience who benefited from my paper? <laughs> <laughs> I think it brings up a very interesting thought about process and product, about what the process is and what you actually have at the end of it, because what you're talking about has mostly been my experience working as mm -hmm. an actor or writer in new work. Mm -hmm. It's all that you've done as the actors, but eventually people take roles within what it is. So somebody is the writer, somebody is the actor, somebody directs it. it it's not, like, I don't know who wrote your thing, I don't know if you all wrote it together, I don't know. But with the process of that. The first point of a process and product it is actually quite uh, uh, it's a good good angle because actually a lot of the time in my PhD, my supervisor's here, it's not him, but in the in the kind of academic community I'm always forced to say, is mine a process PhD or is it a product? You know, but actually I keep saying it's both. And it's a it's a very tough thing to say, don't pigeonhole me into one or another because it impacts this and where the external comes and sees you and all that, and I just think, oh, it's, it's a nightmare, okay?